You're probably wondering, Bradley, where are you? Well, I'm on the road because I'm literally road testing the Leica Q2 and I'm at my parents' basement. And this is like the only quiet place in the house, so I'm down here. So it's not my normal office desk setup in Brooklyn, but let's go anyway. So this is the Leica Q2. This is the croissant of cameras. It is buttery, it is crisp, it's delicious. Ooh. It's got some awesome things that I love about it and some other things about it too. So let's take a look. So let's start at the top. What do you get in the box? You get a strap, you get the battery, you get the charger, you get a couple of different things. The box itself is really cool. So you get the camera itself, obviously. Cool little battery door back here. You just slide this, battery pops out, push it back in, clicks in. I like that. That's kind of a nice use of space and weight. For the SD card, there's just a slot back here. Pull that down, bing, door springs open, pop out your SD card. I've got this little thing on here because, come on, this thing's $5,000. I had to put a credit card down just to be able to borrow this. I'm not trying to buy a broken one, you know what I mean? So let's, let's keep this thing safe. It's got a great weight to it, a great feel, but if I was going to buy this camera, I would want something else to help me hold it. On the top here, you've got your shutter button, you've got your on off. This here controls whatever you want it to, you can program it. Uh, I think right now it's set to ISO. Um, and then you've got your shutter speed up here, which is great. And when you move to the back, you realize, look how clean this is. Three buttons on the side, play, function, and menu. Only three buttons, probably should have memorized that, but whatever. Nice crisp screen on the back here, easy to use. Little jog dial, little wheel here um, that also makes that easy to use. So this camera is, is really right out of the box, almost, almost user friendly straight from the top. All right, some of the specs of this. Now, why would you get a Q2? Well, it's a full frame mirrorless camera. Now, what that means in layman's terms is full frame, a bigger sensor so it can suck up more information. Your blacks can be blacker, your whites can be whiter. It can create this nice kind of uh, range to what you're shooting. Mirrorless means there's not a mirror like an SLR, single lens reflex that has a mirror that's flat flipping up to capture an image so it can be small, it can be compact. Also, this thing is weather sealed. That means you can be out there, I haven't done this, but I read some other reviews, people were in the rain shooting with this camera, no problem, and that's the hope. Evidently, all the buttons, anything on the outside has a rubber seal behind it, and that's really what you want with a camera that's supposed to be kind of an all-in-one. Now, because it's got such a big sensor, it can do something very interesting. The lens on this is a 28 millimeter 1.7 which is like, hello, Boca, hello, Boca Raton. You're getting amazing depth of field. But because the sensor is so big, it does something very special. You can go from 28 to 35 to 50 to 75, all by pushing this little button back here. It crops in and it gives you guidelines on the display screen. Now, what's also cool about it too, this lens, has a macro mode. You simply slide this ring over, around, Boop, you're in macro. So it's giving you even closer shots that you can get great details on products, on people, on, on nature. The ISO ranges from 50 to 50,000. Can you even buy film like that? I don't think so, that's amazing. So it's supposed to be great in low light and great in high light. Supposed to be, I'll get to that in a second. Also, there's a Leica app, which is really great for transferring, super simple to set up, pairs with your phone, and boop, 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 you're sending images back and forth. Now, it is worth noting, depending on how big your phone is and how much you've got in the cloud and all this kind of stuff, these images can be huge. So one of the downsides to the Q2, and you'll find this online when you're looking at other reviews as well, and you should, you should cross-reference my review with other reviews, but you'll find a lot of people complaining about low light autofocus. And I would take that a step further and just say the autofocus in general. Sony's autofocus I got really used to is lightning fast. And the, the, the Leica drags behind that. I was trying to take some pictures of my nephew. He was running around, I was running in front of him, like holding it like this, trying to get a cool shot, running behind him. And a lot of times it would be the background was in focus 
or like the back of his head was in focus. Now he's a kid, he's running around, he's like two and a half years old, but still, I was hoping for more. When I flipped back through all my pictures, I was like, there's only one in here that I can really use. Now you can use kind of the burst mode on here. It'll take up to 10 frames per second, so you can hold down ticket, 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 ticket kind of thing, which is nice if you want to kind of be tracking. There is face tracking on here, but still that's not quite as quick. Now when it comes to low light, it really took its time to try to find the right focus, and I essentially swapped it over into manual uh, and used the peaking option on the screen to be able to tell if something was or wasn't in focus, because it was trying its best, it was, it was working hard, but it wasn't quite what I would have expected for $5,000. So who is this camera for? I would say if you're a vlogger and you need to flip out screen and you need interchangeable lenses and you need all this kind of stuff, this is not the camera for you. But if you're someone who travels a lot, loves to take portraits, loves to take product photography, or you want that versatility of macro to a 75, this is an excellent camera. What I think really shines with this camera is the feel, the weatherproofing, that's huge, because I felt like I could just toss this in my bag, get on the airplane, take it out. I have just a tiny little carrier for it, and I don't have to worry about this thing getting all like dusty or dirty or, or wet. The, the type of adventure travel photography I want to do, I need a camera that can stand up to that. So I appreciate that Leica has done that in the Q2. For me, that's the major selling point. So there you go, a full frame mirrorless camera that's weatherproof, sealed, and all ready to go, plus it's got the street cred of Leica and the image quality to back it up. The Q2 is an excellent choice for photographers and for even just casual shooters who have a little bit of extra cash. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Do you have a Leica Q2? Do you have a Q1? Are you thinking to upgrade? If you have any of those questions, obviously, Shout me out, I'm good at commenting back. Follow me on Instagram, B-H-A-Z. That's up to the minute stuff of what I'm doing and what I've been posting a lot of pictures from this Q2 because the functionality of it is beautiful. I've been using it to shoot my family over holidays and even just products and stuff in general. See you on the field. I wasn't really, I didn't even turn it on. <laughs>